Solar mags are probably the best bullets that I've found so far. I feel like they do more damage. Execute. Press F during a combo, pull enemies and deal a heavy damaging blow. Nice. I kind of want to just stay a little far until I can, um... Oh my god, he hit me in the middle of the combo and I die! <laughs> Why? Okay, we'll give it one more try, one more try. To round 10. 10. If not, in part 2, I'll make it in round 10. Okay, that's my goal, to complete the game. Let's do this. Well, I don't have to explain everything, and why not? I can just rush through it. Let's do it. Kill him. Kill him, boy. Okay. I got this. Gotta go one at a time in these first rounds, because you're pretty weak. Damn you. There you go. Only two? Oh, no. There's a third. Ow. Kill him. Damn it. Okay, that's what happens when I attack too soon. That's the one thing. I always feel like I'm going to hit with the Seath, and it turns out I'm too far. See? Too far. And, like, the glow sort of passed through it, so... Oh my god, I somehow magically dodged that. Learn Vault. Oh, crap. No wonder I haven't been able to shoot. I forgot to reload. Um, and it's like really diverse this series. And it's really original and creative. Like, you can see by this weapon that it's original. I mean, gun weapons like this, you have each character has a semblance. Actually, I can show you that here. I am not able to use it, but I'm just gonna show you quick. Hers is agility. It's actually, um, I call it speed because agility, well, could be confused for other stuff. But, um, yeah, basically she can go super fast. But, you know, you have the aura. Every show has like their distinct stuff. Like Dragon Ball Z, you have like the Chi and all that. Naruto, you have Chakra and all the Jutsus, right? So I'm not gonna say that that's the original part. But for example, the combination of um of the weapons, that's a first for me in any anime. Like normally animes, if they have it's hand-to-hand -hand combat, some of those like superpowers, right? And you have the regular weapons. The regular weapons. Obviously, you have your weird enemies. Like I remember there's one in Dragon Ball Z. He um, ow. One in Dragon Ball Z, he, um, there we go. He, like, spun on his head and uh, out of the holes in his body because he had holes all over his body. These, a uh, ton of, like, I don't know, energy projectiles would come out. And that's pretty, you know, creative, too, obviously. I'm not saying other enemies aren't creative. In, in Black Bullet, you have this guy who's, like, part cyborg or something, too, and he has some pretty cool abilities. I'm gonna take one potion, nice. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I always, I found this much more original, and the thing, I just love it a lot more, because in 3D, I feel like it's more complete. I feel like it's a lot more complete, like, I can get more of the fight each time I see it. No, um, no, I said that wrong. Like, if you see the fight from a 2D anime, and if you see one from a 3D anime, or, like, a movie, you can even take something like Kung Fu Panda, right? It's not just Ruby in the fights. And, like, it does seem much more complete. Do I have any bullets? No. It just seems much more complete. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and I personally think that this in 3D stuff, like, again, Kung Fu Panda or whatever, it's much more fast and fluid than 2D. And then there's also those 2D enemies that basically they stick in so much talk into their fights that you don't get a thing. Like, um, I think in all the fights I've seen in Ruby, and Red vs. Blue, which is made by the same company as I said before and everything, you do not have... You have been, essentially you have no talk during the fight, so you don't have all this explanation on stuff. They're explained out of the fights, or maybe in between. Like a character fighting something else, and they switch to another character. Those two characters that they switch to like talk for two seconds, and then it's back to the fight. Like Naruto, the the, um, the PTS, right? The original when they were all little kids. That one I hated the fights there because it was two seconds fight and three hours talk. Explaining everything of the jutsus, how complicated the counters, and the the counters to the counters, how you couldn't counter, etc. How they made it, the past story of the character's life. It was all that, and I hated that. I hated that so much. But here, it's not like that. And Red vs. Blue, it's not like that either. And then, I don't know. Kung Fu Pan, it's not like that, right? All that Dragon Warrior business, they don't explain it that that much. There's the, They make sure there's not much to explain. You get it. You can see and, see and enjoy the fights. It's not Dragon Ball Z either, where they talk three hours about their chi and whatnot. 
Isn't she? Yeah. And like, and all that, right? Um... Let's see, what else? Because, like, this is- what I just said was basically general comparing 3D and 2D. I meant to say something that's actual... Saying, hey, Ruby's better. I mean, obviously everyone with their styles and what they like. Um, for me, Ruby's the best. Yeah. Any more bullets? Silver mag, 25. I'll just save that for now. Round 4, yeah, I don't need it. I'm much more powerful than you. No, I'm what? I'm low, what? Level 5, right? Ow. Fish. God damn it. Potions give back too little life, but also no, I think it's kind of good because some things- Oh, frick. Some things just give you too much life, and sometimes it sucks. At least these, you can get- Normally I get a lot, I don't know why I'm not getting this time. They're a perfect dodge. Okay, disable lock. Didn't mean to lock again, but okay. So Ruby, right? The weapons and stuff are really creative. Um, the story, it has so much parts. Like you have the, um, terrorist called the White Fang. And they're a huge part in it. But then you have these humans which are working with the White Fang, but you don't know what their goal is. Their goal is not the same as the White Fang. Anyone can tell you that. Then you have like, I don't know, the, um, different governments and stuff in the show, which also, they're, they're trying to fight these, but they have their own things, right? They're all different. And then you have, oh, frick. Oh wait, I was looking at the upper life parts and I thought it was mine. So you have like a million stuff going at once. Like, there's this one girl who she was made by this guy and some help from one- Damn it, you! And help from like one government, and she's part robot. And like, why why was she made? What did her creator say? What did he- what did he, her creator mean when he said that she's gonna be in charge of the defense of the world? Like, what's going on? And then you have the Grimm themselves, like there's something going on with Grimm. Grim are a big part, too. It's not like they have plans or anything, but they're a big part, too, okay? Stuff with Grim is obviously gonna happen. And then you have backstories and whatnot. So the story, this is why I cannot explain the story. It just has a lot of layers to it, which are really interesting, but um, you don't know. Really, you can't really explain just it as one story. It's impossible. It's quite literally impossible. And that's one of the things I love about Ruby. It's probably, I know it's probably not the only show that's like that, obviously. But, um, yeah. I love that. So like, when I talk about something I like, I don't want to make it sound like I'm fanboying over it and saying it's the best just because I'm a fanboy. I like to have reasons. And then when I give the reasons, I sort of act like the reasons don't mean much. I hate it when I do that. <sighs> but yeah, really cool. I so recommend it. There we go. I got Whirlwind. Which is basically the... Well, basically no, it is this. Uses a bullet as well. What mags am I using this time? I'm still using normal. Okay, let's equip something else. Frost, silver, let's go silver. It does push him farther than I think about it. Okay, cool. Dun 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 dun. Oh, crap! Nice. Dun, 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 dun. The music in the show is incredible. It's made by Jeff Lee Williams. Sandy Lee Williams. Okay, now I think Jeff, he's the one who creates it, right? Then Sandy and Casey. Casey's his daughter. I do not know about Sandy. I don't know much about Sandy. They um, help. They sing with him. Like He's also a singer, but they sing with him. Um, and then there's Lamar, I don't know his full name, <laughs> sorry Lamar. Um, but he's really cool, he does like the, the fast, the really fast part in his music, like sort of rap part. And um, I really love it when he does that. I love it. But um, I also like the songs mostly because, I like songs in m uh, most shows, because um, when they're from a short song, they have meaning. They have like more emotion than a lot of regular songs. That's like, that's also like a big thing in music for me, like, um, Eminem, I think he's pretty cool because a lot of his songs talk about serious stuff, and I, that's what I like. Ruby, um, no, Ruby, sorry. Red Lake Rose's Part 2, which is a song from Ruby, right? It is, um, oh god. Oh god, I almost died because of that. I love it, it's my favorite song in the whole wide world. I love it because it's basically Ruby and her dead mother singing to each other, what they think, everything that happened, all that stuff. 
And I love it because of that, it's just really deep. Bust the shot. Oh. Didn't change weapon. Ow! Fish! You want some of these? Go. Kill him. Got him. Oh, didn't get him. I need more of them. Um. Go. Cred. Try to dodge. Didn't work. Nice. Okay, cool. I got this. I just, I totally zoned out to concentrate. Okay, did that. Let's go get this. Maybe it's a potion. Silver mag. Okay. Got two potions. Might as well not waste them. Let's see if I can do this without using a potion. Nice. He hurt his, he killed his ally. Nice. Perfect right there. See, I'm pro. Let's go with that as well. From the guy that... Oh, Frost Bullets. Okay, nice. I'm seriously debating now which is the uh, best ammo. Frost or Silver? Silver pushes him back and I think does more damage. Use the potion because I don't want to risk it to get the biscuit. Ow. Okay, screw that. I'm not risking that. You can just die. Like, I just use all my bullets, can't I? On him. Nice. Let's drive these cases. Potion, silver mag. Potion, nice. Okay. To go and push. I feel like they give me less life every time in a new round. Did I get any techniques or something? No, I did not. Um, let's see. I'm gonna switch to silver mag for frost mag. Let's test that out. I should have lost whatever subject I was talking about. I just, I lost it. As you can see, I really get into Ruby. Oh man, something I love about Ruby is, um, this is more because of the person, not because of the show itself. The person who made it. But, okay, I guess it counts as the show itself. The fights are so good, and I do not mean these are 3D or whatever like I just said. Damn it, I accidentally took a potion. Um, the choreography, everything they have, it's just awesome. Monty, he was such a great animator. But I gotta get credit, right, because it wasn't just him in the, um, in the series, obviously. He had his team, right? There was, um, let's see, Kerry Shawcross. He's awesome. A great animator as well. There is... What was his name? Matthew? Matthew was his name? No, Miles Luna. Ma Miles. There we go, Miles, yeah. Miles, he does the voice of one of the characters as well. I don't know if Kerry does, but Miles, I know he does. He does of John. Um, they help. They're like, also, they help write Ruby, like the story and not. They help Monty, helped Monty write it. Um, they're really cool, right? I've seen a lot of videos with them and whatnot. They're funny. Um, I think this other guy 